My name is Alexis Scott. I'm a serial and digital entrepreneur. My journey didn't start off the traditional way. I didn't know what to expect. Sometimes I have to just look back at it and just really take it in. So what I want people to understand about the name Alexis Scott and even the brand that's forthcoming, you know, I am a natural developer at heart. Any idea, any project that comes to my hands, I'm always thinking like five steps ahead. When a client comes to me, when an artist comes to me, you know, here's the, the first point of the idea, but how can we uh, grow it? So when I think of being a developer, whether that's me creating eBooks, courses, curriculums, you know, it's the creativity. It's an awesome trait as an entrepreneur to have. You don't stick with just point number one. It looks different for many different people. Entrepreneur Her is exactly that. So we're pursuing her. In my journey in entrepreneurship, it was not hard for me to pursue the dream necessarily. It wasn't hard for me to pursue captivating an audience, creating new products. But what was hard was maintaining me and making sure that I was pursuing myself in the process. She's such a pleasant person. It was history from there. I've been knowing her through her whole four years here at Wichita State into graduation. She is genuine, she's nice, she's dependable, she's honest, and she's very talented. She works in the community very hard, and she loves her entrepreneurship ventures that she does. But what they need to know is that she's passionate about anything that she gets involved in. You know, I love the fact that people can evolve and change, you know, every day. And so when I look at the evolution of myself, I have to remind myself that, you know what, people aren't buying just a product, but they're buying my story. They're buying the redemption, you know, that, that I've had to come through. They're buying that, you know, I've not always been perfect. They're buying the fact that they've seen me in former years, you know, not loving myself, not, you know, appreciating the value that I truly bring in spaces, but now becoming that person. Accepting failure, you know, doesn't mean that it's the end. And a lot of people, that's what they think. All it takes is a shift. All it takes is for somebody to say, you know what, I'm going to believe differently about myself. I believe that, that I can, you know, be all that I can be. And when I look at, again, the entrepreneurs that I come in contact with, the entrepreneurs, uh, the different young ladies, you know, through pageantry, we're all striving to be better versions of ourselves. We're all trying to become, you know, who it is that we've always been made to be. Alexis is wise beyond her years. Even when she was a student at Wichita State, I was like, who is this girl? Like, she is like a 40-year-old in this 20-year-old body, in a good way though, you know? Like, she is just, has so much charisma. She has always been a leader in her own right. Uh, she always has had a vision for herself, regardless of what other people did or thought about her. And I always have really appreciated that about her. Because Alexis is such a hard worker, she's a perfectionist. She comes off as perfect, but she's just human and a, a girl's girl. I think sometimes people get intimidated because of that confidence, when really she is as sweet as she can be. Pageantry can open so many doors for women. The biggest door that it opens, in my opinion, is how they carry themselves and their confidence. Sometimes in pageantry, especially when women get involved, they think, well, like I said, I'm not tall enough, or I'm not skinny enough, or I can't speak that well on the stage. And that's not what pageantry is about but you have to be able to trust the process and to allow yourself or allow the coach to bring out the best in you and the best that you have to offer because what shines on a pageant stage is confidence. You show that you are confident in who you are, then that is what resonates. And that's one thing I love about Alexis is she has just trust my process and allowed me to coach her, even when it was taking her and pulling her out of her comfort zone. She trusts the process and realized that ultimately, I wasn't shaping her into being someone that she isn't, but I was just bringing out her best qualities so that she can be confident in who she is and shine on the pageant stage. I've seen incredible growth from being very, not necessarily conservative because she is that, but coming to 
choosing the gowns and just embracing her physical attributes and her body and how she presented herself on the stage, knowing that she may not be the tallest contestant there, but you walk like you are six feet tall. But I don't think they see that there's this shy, quiet side to her, where she is still in the process of discovering who she is and how to present herself in the most authentic way that she can. And she is such a role model and an inspiration for many women because she doesn't let things stop her. Oh. <laughs> She doesn't, she doesn't let things stop her and she doesn't give up. And she keeps working hard on setting goals for herself, achieving those goals, and then it just doesn't stop there. Then she'll set another goal and she just keeps going. And that's one thing I love about her and she is a great role model for many. So the journey for Alexis Scott is growing. And I'm excited, you know, to share that, you know, most people when they're watching this video, they're going to see um, a new shift on my social media platforms. They're going to see Boutique 5 transitioning to being online completely. And I'm excited about that. You know, when I look at the evolution of Boutique 5, that's where we started. We started in my apartment, living room. I still had an audience that was supporting and, and loving, you know, where we started. And so to be able to go back to being fully online, I'm able to reach more people with my products. And so I would leave, you know, those who are watching this video with this, it's okay to evolve. And even though when things may feel like um, I'm being retracted or feel like, you know, okay, we're not progressing, you know, as we once were, um, you still are. You know, I went through a season of uh, where I felt like things were silent, where I felt like I didn't have the drive necessarily for entrepreneurship and I questioned myself as an entrepreneur. And so I would just encourage for those who are watching this, that you can evolve, it's going to look different, times and seasons are gonna change, however, you're still gonna be as successful as you desire. Mm -hmm.